watches of many kinds are found throughout the streets and markets of Taipei. It's not just about housewives shopping for groceries to cook at home. The food markets also offer food for busy people on the move. Taiwan's traditional rice cake is still a fast, easy snack. It takes a long time to prepare, however, and is being overshadowed by Western-influenced rice dishes such as the glutinous rice sausage. Five grain rice is a mix of rice grains, beans, millet and barley. Once fried and prepared with other ingredients, it makes for a unique flavor and facet to the eating and appreciating of rice. To satisfy the taste buds, rice has been grown and prepared in many forms. Rice noodles are found in nearly every region where rice itself is grown. The rice noodle is said to have been eaten in the Yangtze River area in China as far back as 500 BC, when the country was still under siege by invaders from the north. Instead of being forced to flee with large sacks of rice, Carrying rice ground into pulp and flattened into strips presented a more portable alternative. The flattened strips, once dried, can be stored for long periods of time and are delicious when correctly prepared. Today, rice noodles are an essential part of modern diets. A successful producer of rice noodles is Sinchu, an old North Taiwan city. The legend is that over a century ago, a noodle maker from Hui'an in China arrived here and loved the conditions so much that he created a rice noodle plant that has turned the whole city towards the industry. During its prime, over 100 noodle factories made their home in Sinchu. Today, only 30 of these survive because the tradition is on the decline due to a lack of interest in this humble but vital trade. The long hours involve enduring sweltering conditions through the night to ensure the noodles are ready for drying when the sun rises. Despite that, production continues to grow with the automation of the process and the city of Sinchu produces 20 tons of rice noodles per day, making enough noodles for Taiwan and beyond. Rice isn't just food, it is also a drink. Ancient China discovered the process of fermenting and drinking rice wine to toast friends, family and ancestors. It's become an important facet of Chinese culture to use rice wine as an accompaniment to gatherings, ceremony, and even an ingredient in cooking. Traditional Chinese rice wine is made through the fermentation of sweetened glutinous rice. The industry is closely tied to the agricultural industry. A good or bad harvest of grains for the year directly affects the fortunes of the rice wine brewing industry. It's a smart venture for the Taiwanese, since it means that a surplus of their quality rice is still put to good use year after year. While a bottle of rice wine at meals isn't quite as common as it would be with traditional wines in France and Italy, the industry still thrives in Taiwan. Rice wine is used less as a regular beverage and more often employed in cooking, both in restaurants and at home. The clear, vodka-like liquid is prone to hoarding, price hikes, and has even caused a fistfight or two in the market when supply falls short of demand. This 
brandy 或者是他们的这个白葡萄酒啊，红葡萄。那我们就地取材，最多丰富的就是我们的米，所以我们加米酒。And so winter comes to Taiwan, and with the preparation of new dishes, so begins the preparations for a new season of festivities.